In 1906, Sir Francis Galton observed the wisdom of the crowd's phenomenon at a weight-guessing contest. He noticed that while individual guesses varied wildly, the collective average was remarkably accurate. Ever since, we have been fascinated by the extraordinary ability of collectives to process large amounts of noisy information and to perform better than single individuals. In our research, we study collective decisions in swarms of simple robots. We take inspiration from the house hunting behavior of honeybee swarms. When house hunting, honeybees choose their new nest location in a self-organized manner. The collective choice they make is the result of simple interactions between the swarm members. In our artificial swarms, collective decisions are also the result of self-organized interactions between individuals. The Kilobot is a small and cheap robot with very limited capabilities. It can move in a straight line or rotate in place around its center. The Kilobot has only one sensor with which it can measure the brightness of the ambient light. It can also exchange three byte messages with neighboring robots and when receiving a message, estimate the distance of the sender. We consider a site selection problem to study collective decision making in a swarm of 100 kilobots. Robots are initially located in the nest, the area where robots exchange site preferences and take individual decisions. From the nest, robots can move either to the red or to the blue side. The goal of the swarm is to find consensus on the best side, in our case, the red side. The quality of a site is an abstract numeric value. We evaluate the noisy robot's perception of a site's quality using infrared beacons placed under the arena surface. Such beacons broadcast noisy quality values. A swarm has made a decision when, as a result of a decision-making strategy, a large majority of robots have the same preference. We control the kilobot with a finite state machine that implements our decision-making strategy. In the dissemination state, the robot is in the nest and its primary goal is to promote its current site preference. To do so, the robot repeatedly broadcasts its preference while performing a random walk. Before moving to the exploration state, the robot collects the preferences of its neighbors. It then applies the majority rule to update its preference, which determines the site it will explore next. In the exploration state, the robot travels towards the chosen site. Once there, it randomly explores the area in order to estimate the site quality. Eventually, the robot returns to the nest and re-enters the dissemination state. In a way similar to honeybees, the effort each robot makes to promote a particular site is proportional to the quality of that site. Specifically, a robot promotes its preferred site for a time that is proportional to its current estimation of the site quality. This modulation mechanism introduces a positive feedback that over time leads the swarm to choose the highest quality site. Self-organized collective decisions let a swarm overcome the limitations of its individual robots. In this way, swarms of small, incapable and unreliable robots, which are easy to design and cheap to build, can still achieve their collective goals. Today, kilobots in a research laboratory can choose sites with a quality value arbitrarily set by the experimenter. Tomorrow, similar mechanisms could allow nanobots in the human body to decide on the correct site to deliver drugs.